So we've done all the steps to get our solution, our solar thermal fluids, ready to go. We've got our hoses on. We've made sure that this is a nice tight fit. We've done our pressurized side. Our check valve is closed on our pump at the moment. And now we're going to connect to the inside of our solar thermal system. And we're going to be on the lookout for the drain fill valve assembly. And in this case, on this particular system, it's going to be right here. So I want to show a few quick things as we're looking in down here about how the proper techniques and setup are. So let's just talk a little bit about the fluid flow and how to do these fittings. So this is your typical garden hose fitting, and that's an acceptable means of filling. Inside of your garden hose, there's this rubber O-ring. And you can see that this valve, this uh, end of this hose, is a little bit loose. And so when I thread this on here, there's two things that I need to know. First of all, this is going to be my drain side. So I am going to connect the hose to the drain. And so I'm just going to do a finger tight setup right now. And then I'm going to take my wrench and tighten it up from there. So the reason I'm showing you this, not to waste time on a video, is there's a right way and a wrong way of adding hoses to a system. Now I got it finger tight, and you can see now that that wiggle has disappeared, and that's going to be critical for us. The next step is I want to take a wrench. Now notice on a wrench that this part wiggles more than this side. So when I want to do force and I want to really tighten down something, I want the force to be exerted right there. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to work it on that side and I'm going to let that, that non-moving side of the adjustable wrench do the work. I don't want to over tighten it. I generally want to get it tightened, maybe no more than a half turn to compress that fitting. That shouldn't move. This hose fitting I did just a few moments ago, it doesn't move. Right now, these valves are closed. So they're fully closed. The fluid is not going to flow. This right here is a small valve that will open and close. So let's quickly talk about the theory of operation. This pump is going to produce flow going in this direction. I'm not going to turn the pump on while I'm priming and installing the solar fluid into this system. What I'm going to do first is shut this valve. This valve body right here is open. This is now closed. That means if that pump were on, it gets to here and it stops. What I want to do is I want the fluid to flow into this valve. So from my pump that I'm going to pump my fluid in, it's going to come into here and it's immediately going to go both directions. But this is being stopped. So all the fluid is going to flow through my air vent, down through my flow meter, and back through the system. And then it's going to come back from that pump because that pump's pointing in this direction and it's going to come out this field right here. So that's what I've got right there. In a previous video, I turned the pump on and we saw how quickly that fluid flowed through there. I'm not necessarily interested in a race for a massive amounts of flow. I'm looking for small amounts of flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my drain first. So I'm going to open this drain not all the way, but quite a bit of the way. And the reason for that is I'm going to have to maintain pressure right here. Right now we're at about zero. I'm going to purge the system and I do not want to exceed on this particular trainer 15 psi. So I don't want to exceed that rating. So anyways, we've got that system right there. I'm going to show you how to, to simply do that. So now at the next step is the fluid that's coming in is closed. So this fluid is going to come here, but it's not going to flow until I start to slowly open that valve. And we're going to listen for a few things. We're going to listen for air hissing and bubbling through as we're pushing fluid through. And then we're going to listen to, and look in the tank to make sure there's no more bubbles going on in the system. So those are the two things that I'm going to be critical about. Now what we're going to do is turn the system on and we're going to go to an up view looking down into the system as we explain what's going on with the theory of operation. All right, so at this point, I'm going to undo the valve right here. It's open, and I'm just going to turn the pump on. Now, the pump is under pressure because there's no more way for that to flow. It's not flowing. It's tapped in here. The return valve, the return is open, 
but not the fluid flow. So I'm going to just crack this ever so slightly, and I'm gonna let just a little bit of fluid flow into this system. 